Hey guys, it's Captain Julian here with Salt's Gone. We're here today with my friend Scott. And uh, Scott is an airline pilot. He's a 747 driver. He's just been hired in to be doing an instructor. Some of the guys you've seen that we're doing these videos with, pretty much everybody involved has been in the airline business for you know 30 or 40 years. I've been doing it since the mid 80s. And these are friends of mine that we're just kind of educating on corrosion and uh, helping them protect their aircraft. So uh, today, Scott, uh, tell us about your plane here. I know there's a really good story about this. Yeah, so I graduated high school in 1996. And for graduation from high school, my dad and I decided to go to Florida seaplanes. And we got our seaplane ratings in a Mall M7-235. And uh, we had so much fun doing it, my dad said, man, we got to go out and buy a seaplane now. And so we flew up that summer to Canada and they found a 185 that was for sale. Well, it wasn't this airplane that was for sale. This one was almost done. It was in pristine condition. And my dad, long story short, made a deal on, on this airplane. And uh, we flew it home the next summer. It was complete on floats and we enjoyed many summers flying it together. And uh, somewhere around the 2007, Mark uh, just wasn't using it enough, and so he sold it to a gentleman up in Turner, Maine, at Twitchell's uh, seaplane base. Mm -hmm. uh, so fast forward to about two months ago, my wife said, uh, maybe you should look up and find your dad's old airplane. So I did, and I found out who had it. It was the same guy that he sold it to, and, and I called, and long story short, we made a deal on it. And I flew it home uh, a few days ago from Turner, Maine, back here to Houston. And, mm -hmm. Here's, we're going to keep it here at La, La Port Airfield in La Port, Texas. So really what's happened here with Scott, he's gotten, uh, his aircraft was up on the lakes in Maine, which is one of the best places you can actually be keeping an aircraft for corrosion. You've got clean air, fresh water, and now we're bringing it down into a coastal environment. So the benefits of using salts gone, how does salts gone work? And when we say salts, we're not just talking about sea salts, but we are here and probably some of the most uh, corrosive environments, like we're on the coast here in Texas, we're in a high humidity environment. Uh, just when you go out flying around here, you're actually in the uh, salt air, but also pollutants. Uh, if you're flying in out of Salt Lake City, LA, where you get uh, some of the pollutants trapped kind of down low, you get a little more of that. These are all things that can corrode your aircraft. Some of our good customers are um, crop dusters and some of the stuff they're putting out, uh, are very corrosive when it comes to the plane but the things you want to do to protect your plane are keep it hangered like Scott's done here and like we said this is coming from the freshwater lakes of Maine down to the coast down in Houston so uh, other than putting it in the desert uh, probably where he brought this airplane from was one of the uh, best places you can keep an aircraft so now we have to worry more about the corrosion side of things so with salts gone we're a neutral pH we're totally biodegradable totally safe for the environment and what's different than salts gone and other products uh, in the marine and in the aviation business is we are totally neutral pH what that means is most products are attacking, attacking salt from an acid based product which is a lower pH and it's changing the salt with an acid and what we know is our polishes and things of that nature are really expensive when we get to aircraft so if we're putting uh, an acid basically on a very expensive polish we're actually t messing up the uh, actually messing up the coatings ceramic coatings polishes things of that nature we're taking it away over time an acid based product will etch uh, some of your metals themselves if they are exposed it can etch uh, like your props and some of the metals at that point. Uh, and the other thing with salts going is we don't emulsify any oil. You say, well, why is that important? Well, one of the ways that we protect our airplane is with products like Corrosion X, ACF 50, which are oil-based products, which are great. We are not really competing with those. What's really important though is to use salts gone to break all the salt down before you put these products on. So if you're just putting the product on and you have the salt underneath it, you're still having the corrosive effects of this. So we just work with the products you have to through chelation, which is basically we're just giving the NA something and wants more than the CL and the CL something and wants more than the NA. And we're just breaking the salt down. As soon as the product hits, the pollutants, the salts, like the high-end salts, sodium chlorides, 
Uh, bleach is a corrosive effect, anything of that nature, as long as this, as well as the sea salt, we're just completely breaking those down. And now when you place your protection on, when you paste your polish and things of this nature, you're putting it on a very clean surface. You can see some of the Cessnas in the mid to late 70s into the early 80s. You'll see a lot of filiform uh, kind of corrosion, which basically means that the corrosion was underneath the painting itself. Um, and then you can really run into some problems with that. So you want a really clean surface before you're putting uh, some of these oil-based products on. Whatever's on here, when we use salts gone, we're using a very soft wash where we're not going to be uh, putting a hard wash. We're just getting rid of all the salts, pollution, pollutants, things of that nature that can break your plane down over time. Uh, you saw us do one show or one video on a Bonanza from a friend of mine. That's a magnesium retervator. Very difficult to get that part. If that part uh, does rust out and corrode, which they do have a high frequency of that, if we don't stay ahead of that, it's very difficult to get these parts. So it's a little different on a car. You rust out a bumper, that's not a big deal. You rust out one of your parts on your aircraft, say a wing spar or a rudder something along those lines, and your aircraft is completely unworthy, which makes it a little more difficult. With supply chain problems, problems getting parts that we have, it's much more important to be using frequent washing to keep all the salts and chlorides off of your aircraft. But you can see one of the places where you run into problem is right here, where we have rivets coming together, wherever you see two, uh, dissimilar metals coming together. Basically, uh, what rust is, is just leaching electrons. So we're just flooding the aircraft with electrons. We're getting the NA something at once more than CL. Same thing with the CL more than once than with the NA. Uh, also, you can kind of take a peek in here. Uh, when it comes to aluminum, you can see some of the aluminum here starts to get a little pitting and a little rusting. Aluminum is very difficult uh, to know when you have corrosion. It'll be more of a white, more of an opaque color. And once you recognize it, it's really too late to do anything with the part. You're just gonna need to replace the part. So staying ahead of the corrosion on that with the salts gone, just very important when it comes to that. Same thing with props where we get friction and speed. You can feel a little pitting, it's natural. And everybody knows one of these uh, Macaulay props, Hartzell props, they are not uh, an inexpensive piece. So we wanna stay ahead of that and uh, be using salts going regularly to keep the salts and the chlorides clean off of here to prevent the rust. What is the advantages of using salts gone? First of all, we're a neutral pH. We're totally biodegradable. We can use it, it's safe for the environment. A neutral pH means that we can spray it right up in our engines. We can spray it on anything. It's not gonna mess up any of your polishes uh, or any of those things. Most uh, washes are using a low pH, which is an acid, which basically over time starts etching your painting, can start etching your metal itself. Uh, and the third thing that's really important, and we do not emulsify oil. We do not break down any grease or any protection that you already have on your aircraft. ACF 50, Corrosion X, these are great products. We're not competing with them. As a matter of fact, before you put these products on, you want to be using salts gone to get all the pollutants and salts to make a clean surface so you're not trapping that underneath the oil itself. But once you have that protection on, salts gone is going to be a, a very soft wash where we're just taking all the salts and chlorides and corrosive effects off of your plane without messing with any of your corrosion inhibitors that you already have. Uh, that's a very important part of what we do. And guys, we have a lot of different ways to deliver the salt scum. We're going to take it over to the pad and wash it today. We're just using a hose-in sprayer. If you have an aircraft, you know, a personal aircraft like this, it works very well. Uh, you can buy by the gallon, put into the hose-in. It's 100 to 1, so one small sprayer. It's going to give you quite a few washes on your aircraft. Some of our other industrial customers, we have a box which you can mount on a wall as an FBO, or it can be a mobile as long as you have a little electricity and you have a, a hose itself with a deliver 101. And some of our seaplane operators, one of our new customers, uh, does a lot of the Grumman's and flying boats. We have um, big units that uh, are independent. You don't even need water with it. It comes with a 270 gallon uh, fresh water bin on top. It'll mix the salts going in. We've got 300 feet of hose. If you've got a 
a seaplane operator, you could put that at the end of the dock, run the hose out, hit all of your aircraft at the end of the night and wash all the salt water off of them. So we have quite a few different ways to deliver uh, salts gone from, uh, from a fleet of aircraft down to your own personal watercraft here. So another reason uh, we want to be using salt gone is a lot of guys are just using a fresh water wash, which, hey, it's better than nothing. But if you're just washing your plane with fresh water, all you're doing is really dissolving the salt. You're just moving it around. Now this salt's gonna get in some of these crevices, uh, get in your flight controls, uh, get into your flap systems, and it's not getting rid of the salt, it's dissolving it, it's moving it around, and as soon as that fresh water dries, the salt is still there. Or the bleach, or the chlorides, or the pollutants, they're still on your plane, and that's the big difference with salt's gone, it's actually removing the salt. Okay, so the high points of salt's gone, guys, is uh, first of all, we're removing all the salts and chloride from your airplane. It's a totally neutral pH. It's totally eco-friendly. You can use it. It can go right onto the ground, but there's no problems with that. Uh, secondly, it does not emulsify any of the oils. So any of the oral protections and the things you have like ACF50 or Corrosion X, those totally stay in place. We don't uh, take any of that off your plane, so all your protection that's there stays there. Uh, we're a neutral pH, so it doesn't affect any of the polishes or the paints you have. Uh, those just stay exactly as they are. We're just removing the salts and the chlorides. Third thing about salt gone is there is surfactant in the product, which is just basically soap. Relieves the surface tension and makes a really nice, uh, really nice finish at the end of the day. We're going to take Scott's plane over. We're going to hit it with a hand sprayer today and give you a look at what that looks like. Hey guys, today we're just gonna use a hose in sprayer to wash off Scott's plane. It's very simple to use. We just put it on the end of the hose. We have an on where we're mixing the uh, salts gone with the fresh water. Once we're done and we have it coated, we go ahead and go straight to the water and just rinse it right on off. It's just a spray on, rinse off product. Very simple to use. All right guys, we just go ahead and we get it on. It's mixing in at the uh, 100 to one ratio right now. It's a very low foaming, which is what we want. We want to see that we're actually using the salt song without using too much foam. Basically, really important to get inside uh, all your surfaces across the top of the plane. Works really good on the glass, all your control surfaces. On the rudder, on the braking systems when you're uh, up north, and you're using, uh, you're taxiing around on the taxiways themselves. They put a lot of salt and things of that nature that you suck up into your landing gear if you actually have them. Retractable gear can be a uh, very difficult uh, place to keep it clean. It'll suck the salt and chlorides up in. Okay, so you're gonna see Scott come behind me. There's, he just brought the aircraft down from Maine. There's a few things with some bugs and things of that nature. We wanna be using a very soft brush. We don't wanna be using anything that's gonna damage your paint or damage any of your polishes. Uh, there is surfactant in the product, but if you have a few places that uh, there's a few stains or something like that, we just use a very soft brush on it. It's real important folks to really really get uh, your tires your braking systems especially today we don't have to worry about a retractable gear but if you're using a retractable gear aircraft you get these salt and chlorides on them and then you bring that up into the aircraft itself we have to be very careful this is a place where we get a lot of corrosion but brakes tires those assemblies uh, they're the ones that are on these salty taxiways uh, very important to hit this with salt corn regularly 
Folks, being a totally neutral pH, it's okay to spray right into your engine itself. Uh, it's really important to be hitting the spinner, the props themselves. These are places where we get a lot of friction and it's easy to get corrosion. And, uh, it's no problem to be used to get right into the front of your aircraft and right into the engine itself is fine. Okay, now that we've had put this, applied the salts gone, we're just going to go straight to the water and rinse it off. Some of our customers ask me, well, Julian, what if I don't get all of the salts gone off? I mean, what's, we do do a low foaming so you can see where you're sprayed on, spray off. But if you just take the product itself before we've added any water, put it on your paints, put it on any part of your aircraft, it's a totally neutral pH. It's all... Uh, perfectly safe just to leave it like that we're just washing it off to get rid of any water spotting or things of that nature so uh, totally safe to use even if you don't get all of it rinsed off itself so uh, I, I told Julian I own an auto detail shop for a lot of years and and uh, the one thing I learned is that bugs are really hard to get off and a true testimonial with the first time you're using this product that the bugs with this brush just a very soft brush come right off very simple. Scott just brought the plane back from Maine. It was a long flight for him. I think some of the things he's saying, he's surprised the surfactant we have relieves the surface tension, makes it easy to remove bugs, any stains and things like that. Today we're going to have a totally clean plane. And now when Scott comes back about once a week or so, just spraying it on and off without having to use a brush or anything like that since it's clean. Now we just spray the salts going on and off, even if we're not using the aircraft, just to keep the salts, pollutants, you know, the humidity that we have here in Houston. Just keep your plane free of, for, of the corrosion. Hey guys, we just want to thank Scott, man. I really appreciate you letting us come out here today and demonstrate our product and teach people. I just, I love the story about this being the plane that your dad flew and you guys doing this together and then you've been able to go find that again. So hopefully we taught you a little something. What do, what do you think about the product today that we're using? I love the product. It was, uh, it almost dissipated. The bugs made them really easy to come off and uh, put a really nice shine on the aircraft with just very little effort. Right. And you told me you're going to do a ceramic coating on the plane. Man, this is definitely what you want to be using. So any acid would eat that coating up. This is just totally neutral. It'll leave it in place and not damage any of the coatings that you already have. Yep. So way to go, Scott. Happy for you. Thanks a lot. All right, buddy. Appreciate you, man.